How's it going everybody, YouTubers out there, um, Hero Hunter 81 I'm here to show you most of my haul. Um, I kind of got impatient, as you can tell in the title. And I can't wait for all my books to come in, so I got to show you something. You know, I, I know if they didn't come today, I'd be waiting until at least Monday or Thursday. So, But uh, before I get into this, let me just show you a delivery I got. Let me just show you the package it came in. Right. You see this, right? Well, you kind of get it, right? Nowhere on this, on the other side either, does it say, do not bend. This thing, the comic I got, was not even in a bag or anything. No boards, no cardboard. And here's the book. I just bid on it online. It was like a dollar. Or no, no. I think it was like seven or eight bucks. But um, look at the back of it. Look at that. Do you see that line right there? Now, I don't care how much I spent. A dollar or nothing. You know, I honestly will probably keep this book and not send it back. And But I will message this guy and just let him know what's going on. But that's just not cool at all. You know, I mean, anyway. But here's Chamber of Darkness number one. I have this book already, but I upgraded to this one. I'd give it like a fine plus. Very fine. And please, people, pay no attention to my grading. I am no way, in any shape, form, a, a grader. But this is a very good-looking comic book to me, you know. Um... I let a lot of stuff slide with me. You know, it's okay for me. But if you really want to check out, um, go to Cougar Comics, one of his last videos. He, there's a book, an Overstreet Grading Guide out there that I'm going to check on and get. But um, We got Super Pro number one. This I've seen in a, lot, a couple videos lately. And... You can pick it up really cheap right now. I've seen it in a Captain Cummings video, and I had to get it. So shout out to Captain Cummings, and um, check him out. He's got a cool podcast going on, and it's just awesome. I got this. I got this. I got a few books from my local comic shop. It's always good. See, I spend a lot of money on books. But it's always good when I can come out of a comic shop with like five or six books that I really wanted that I check off my list for cheap. That, that's really awesome. But um, I, I'm a huge fan of cover swipes. I love it. Love cover swipes. And this is obviously him in the black costume. This is number 13. This is a cover swipe of Spider-Man number one. So it's got purple webbing on it. And it says McFarlane 71 right there. Now, is that the year he was born? Because this is from 91. I don't know if that's a 20-year thing. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, is that the year that the black costume came out? Who knows? Spawn number 8. Love the cover swipes. There's one more cover swipe I'm trying to get, and that's G.I. Joe Special number 1. Or number 2. I'm not quite sure, but it shows snake eyes in the same position. It was a McFarlane cover. What an amazing artist Todd McFarlane is. Just really, he was ahead of his time, man. You know? And speaking of the black costume, you can pick this book up for really cheap, guys. This book here ties with Amazing Spider-Man 252. This came out the same day as that. But this storyline is a little different. It's it's off somewhere else. And the other one's considered the true first appearance of the black costume. But this 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 talk comes up a lot, but and for all my Canadian people out there, Captain Canuck number 1. This book is like almost the size of a golden age book. It barely fit in this bag. Huge book. But 
I love just anything that's different, you know. This isn't something you see every day. Captain Canuck, number one. And this is the Omega Man, number three. Omega Man. This is the first appearance of Lobo. I actually had this book at one time and traded my friend for, he had like an older Batman book. But I don't know, I seen this for cheap, got it back. It's in very good shape. Probably like a very fine. And this one, I was just bidding online and I seen this for like a dollar. Neil Adams. And that's what caught my eye too. Neil Adams, Skate Man, number one. Never heard of it. But pretty cool, man. Neil Adams, one of the greatest artists ever in comic books. This one here I was bidding on too. This is called the Sweethearts. I don't know what number this is, but in the description online, it said that this was really rare. A lot of these books were were um, destroyed or burnt or, or something like that because of the content inside people felt was inappropriate. And I opened it up. It shows a lot of skin in it, stuff like that. But I thought it was cool, you know. I love anything that's rare. I mean, just because somebody says it's rare doesn't necessarily mean it is, but, you know, it was cheap. And we have Blast Off, number one, The Three Rocketeers. And this book's a little, I'd give it a VG. It's got uh, cover issues. A lot of surface wear, but I just love the cover of this, and I got it for pretty cheap. It's got writing right here, it says number one, but I'm just happy to own it. You know, I got it for a good price, under $10, I think. It's good enough for me, I don't care. You know, I think this book's a little rare too, hard to find. Um, Alright, let's get into... Ah, you know what, I'll just show you my graded one I got. And it's Fat Track, number one. Um, a very old book. All right, you guys know I'm just kidding. Anyway, ready? Here we go. The Tomb of Dracula, number one. This is the first appearance of Dracula. Eight and a half. Gene Colan art, Jerry Conway story. Neil Adams cover. Wow, I really love the color of this book. This is one of the biggest Bronze Age books out there, and I suggest anybody, if you have the extra money, pick this up. I actually got this for the minimum bid. They're selling ungraded books for the price I got this for, but hey, it's worth it to me. So I got that one. And Werewolf by Night, I already showed this in one of my older videos, but I just love the color on these, you know? Love my monsters. And I got Frankenstein too, but I, you know what? Who knows? And I think, what do I got? I got like two more books to show you guys. This next book coming up, I am so happy to own this, you know? Um, just so happy. There's a movie coming out, supposedly. So, here goes. The Goon, number one. Very excited to own this book. This book is hard to get a hold of. It really is. And, I don't know. I'd give it like a very fine minus. You know? But, it's crazy. I've seen this book on eBay for up, up towards, what? I think $276, but I didn't pay anywhere near that. Thank goodness. And every time I go on eBay, there's like one or two of them. So it was very... I've been wanting this book for a long time. Um, this is made by Avatar Press. And the inside pages of the... The cover feels good, but the inside page of the, pages of this... They just look a little weird. I, I can't really explain it, but, um... The Goon, number one, very excited. And... The book I've been wanting for a very long time. 
and so happy to own. Here goes. Marvel Spotlight number five. This is the first appearance of Ghost Rider. This Ghost Rider, of course, with the flaming skull. And I would give this like a fine plus. You know, it's really hard to find. It's got some spine wear, but it's really hard to find a black comic book. An older one that's in good shape. And it's got excellent gloss to the cover. Very minimal um, surface wear. This, this spine stuff right here really is the biggest problem with it. And I don't care. You know, the back looks great. The pages are like an off-white. Very happy to own this. Um, somebody read it and took care of it, you know. But here's my two... My two uh, big books this week for me, anyway, and my Tomb of Dracula. Let me show you. And I got another video coming up next week. Um, I just want to thank everybody for watching my videos and my new subscribers. Thanks a lot, guys. And um, I don't know. You guys keep comic book collecting alive. I love this hobby. Love it. Comic books are awesome. It's the best thing ever. But, um... I don't know. You guys take care. Hero Hunter 81 out.